Meghan Markle has been actively targeted by a £2.8 million hate-for-profit enterprise viewed by millions online, according to new data. Research compiled by data analytics service Bot Sentinel found the Duchess was a victim of three anti-Meghan YouTube channels. The report found together the channels had accumulated a total of 497 million views and an estimated £2.8 million in revenue. Bot Sentinel said, it's our opinion that several of the most well-known and active hate accounts were actively targeting journalists and royal commentators to boost their visibility and amplify their hate campaign, in some cases, they were successful. In 2019 Meghan claimed she learned she had been one of the most trolled people in the world. Bot Sentinel said, it's our opinion that several of the most well-known and active hate accounts were actively targeting journalists and royal commentators to boost their visibility and amplify their hate campaign, in some cases, they were successful. It is pertinent to mention that the Duchess of Sussex in 2019, claimed that she had learned she was one of the most trolled people across the globe. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their engagement back in 2017, many remarked that she would be a breath of fresh air to the traditional British royal family. An actress, a humanitarian and an American to boot, Meghan was nothing like any other woman who had married into the fold and marked a new era, even though she's no longer technically a senior royal. However, fans have noticed that the Duchess of Sussex has several similarities to another person who married into the firm, her stepmother-in-law, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Whilst Meghan and the late Princess Diana have much in common including their status as style icons and frankness when it comes to mental health, the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cornwall also have a unique bond. According to a report, Camilla invited Meghan to private lunches in the lead-up to her 2018 royal wedding. Meg was really grateful to Camilla who was very supportive and invited her out for private lunches, particularly around the time of her marriage, a friend told the publication. She listened to her and understood that it's really difficult joining the royal family from an otherwise normal life. The source added Camilla had experienced a lot of negative press and hostility from courtiers due to her relationship with Charles when he was still married to Diana. The duo are also passionate about women's rights and it's mirrored in the causes they've championed. Camilla's royal work strives to highlight the serious issue of rape and sexual assault and the importance of confidential services at rape crisis centers. In 2013 she created a washbag initiative, providing sexual assault referral centers, or SARCs, with wash bags, containing shampoo, shower gel and other toiletries, given to those referred to the centers to use after their forensic examinations. It is a small something to make women and girls who go through such a terrible ordeal just a little bit more human again, she said in 2015 when she wrote exclusively for the Daily Mail. It won't change what has happened but might offer a small crumb of comfort. Meghan, meanwhile, identified as a feminist long before Prince Harry came along. During her 2018 royal tour of New Zealand, the Duchess of Sussex made a speech about women's suffrage in New Zealand and one of her former royal patronages was Smartworks, a charity that offers unemployed women with interview clothing and coaching to help with upcoming job interviews. Now that she has left the royal family, Meghan has continued to champion women through her and Harry's foundation Archul. The couple called on fans to unleash a groundswell of real acts of compassion for the women in your life and in your community for International Women's Day 2021 and suggested donating to local maternity wards and food kitchens and supporting female-led businesses.